In this video, we're gonna take a closer look at the Travel John disposable urinal. This is a small little disposable urinal that's designed for men, women, and children for those unexpected situations when you really have to go. So we're gonna do some testing in this video and we'll just give you a brief rundown of the features of this particular urinal. So let's get started with this video featuring the Travel John disposable urinal because when you gotta go, you gotta go. If you happen to stumble upon this video and you have no idea how you got here, I'd like to welcome you. My name is Cliff, otherwise known as The Urban Prepper, and I cover various emergency preparedness topics in addition to gear reviews. So if you like those type of videos, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I also have a weekly and monthly newsletter if you'd like to sign on for that. There's a link in the description box below. Let's get started now with this video featuring The Travel John. In a few weeks from the posting of this particular video, I'm going to be coming out with my latest Urban EDC Backpack version 4.0 that includes the Travel John. So I figured that this particular item deserved its own dedicated video. So this is what the Travel John looks like once you unwind it. It's very basic. It all kind of folds into each other like this. You unwind it, and then this is where you go to the bathroom at. And then at the bottom of it, it's just a bag, kind of like a barf bag. At the bottom, you have this substance here that absorbs all of the liquid. The Travel John has a capacity of 28 ounces or 800 cc, and it's reusable until it's absolutely full. The key ingredient of the Travel John is the Lixorb pouch that absorbs the liquid waste and turns it into an odorless, non-toxic gel, which is clean, spill-proof, and waste disposable safe. So it's definitely better than just having a cup or a Gatorade bottle that you would go in and you might risk spilling when it's in your vehicle. Now let's do a test of the Travel John using a little bit of Corona. Let's open it up. Now let's pour it in. Now this is 12 ounces of Corona. All right, there we go with the Travel John. Now this doesn't become an immediate gel. It takes a little bit of time. Let's just wait a little bit and see how it goes. There's a lot of bubbles occurring in there. Let me do a little close up to see if you could check it out. So the Lixorb acts very much like a baby diaper where it soaks in all of the liquid. It's just been probably around a minute since I dumped that Corona in there and it feels like it's pretty much a gel. Let's turn it upside down really quick. So as you see, nothing's really coming out of that. So you could really just probably toss this in the vehicle. If it was an emergency situation, you had to go and you wouldn't have to worry about it spilling or anything like that. So pretty efficient so far. Let's dump one more Corona in there. Again, it says that it supports 28 ounces. So this would be 24 ounces. We're gonna see if it works now. So here's Corona number two into the Travel John. some uh, foam coming up there. <laughs> I'll let that dissipate. I'll slowly get the remainder liquid in there. There we go. All right, so the foam's near to the top of this thing. I'm just gonna squeeze it a little bit. All right, so while we're waiting for the foam to go down, again, we've put two beers in there, so 24 ounces. This would be a great little item to have in your vehicle again. If you're stuck on the freeway, if you're nowhere near a bathroom, and for example, if your kid has to go in the back, which is why I originally got it, you'll at least have something that they could go in. It has a fairly decent opening over here that should be efficient for whether you're male or female. And it seems to be pretty good as far as this initial testing. I'm feeling the, the gel start to build up now for that second Corona, which we put in there. So these are specifically designed to have in your purse, in your EDC bag, in the glove compartment of your vehicle. You could take it with you to the airport or camping or you name it. Anytime that you think you might have to go in an emergency situation and might not have access to a restroom, you should probably include a couple travel johns with you. All right, so it's been around a minute since we poured both of the Coronas in there. And from the looks of it, it looks like basically like a gel at this point. There's a little bag in there. We're gonna dissect this so you can take a closer look at it. But uh, it looks like the Lixorb is working just fine. Let's dump it upside down. And again, no drops, as you can see. So again, I would feel pretty comfortable having this in the vehicle. So far, I haven't had to use it yet in an actual emergency situation, but at least I now have the capabilities in my EDC bag in addition to our vehicles for an emergency situation like this. Let's dissect one of these Travel Johns now so you can see the gel pouch that is in there. Again, I would feel very comfortable just tossing this in the vehicle if you needed to, uh, if you're stuck in the vehicle for a long period of time. So let's take some scissors and open it up now. All right, so as you see, it's basically like a little gel pouch or almost like a diaper. It, fe it feels like a diaper a lot to me. So let's open that up. And there you go. That's where all the magic happens with the Travel John. As you can see, it's all in gel form at this point. 
It smells a little bit like Corona, but not too much. So I think that the odor, odor absorption that they talk about also is working. So pretty cool, huh? So that wraps up what I wanted to show you for the Travel John Disposable Urinal. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it. Again, super efficient. You can store up to 28 ounces of fluid for those times that you really have to go, whether it be in your vehicle, while camping, or even in a bug out scenario. Include a couple Travel Johns in there. I've included a link in the description box below if you wanna pick up a few for your kits. Leave your comments below in the comment section and stay tuned for more videos. See you guys next time.